Genesis In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light, the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night. And there was evening, and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. And there was evening, and there was morning the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, livestock and creeping things, and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Male and female he created them. Male and female he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. And fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. For more than 50 years, most anthropologists thought that modern humans left Africa around 100,000 years ago. What now Ms. Leah tells us is that actually modern humans left Africa not 100,000 years ago, but 200,000 years ago. This changed the whole concept of modern human evolution. One of the, the most dramatic events in human evolution is the appearance of our own species, the Homo sapiens. Somewhere between 200,000 and a half million years ago, our species uh, first appeared somewhere in Africa. This specimen is actually of modern characteristics. It has more modern features, which are similar to modern population, than to other ancient populations, such as Neanderthals. The finding from Islia supply answers to those two questions. First, we know that the first Homo sapiens outside the borders of Africa are here in Israel, 200,000 years ago. And from Mount Carmel, apparently these modern humans with their industry colonized slowly and slowly all of the old world. Now, you may well be thinking, what the heck has this got to do with anything? Well, I'll tell you. These are the two accepted arguments across the world how modern day humans, or how humans came into existence. The first is that God created man and woman in his image, and the second that we evolved some 200,000 to half a million years ago. In the first instance, the God creation of man and woman. God literally clicked his fingers and suddenly there were two genders on the earth. Notwithstanding that God said that this man and this woman shall be in his own image, making God a hermaphrodite. There was zero mention of any of the now forced acceptance of probably over 45 new genders. In the second example, we learn that modern day Homo sapiens have been around for somewhere between 200,000 and half a million years. 
And with all of the fossils found over the past, I don't know, let's say 100 years, not a single one has come up that looks like it has had gender reassignment surgery, which in my book suggests that the 45 or so new genders we are forced to accept are nothing more than self-identified names made up by people who are or feel different. Now, don't get me wrong. As I always say, I have no issue with anyone living the life they want to live. But when you have a strongly held belief, how can it be wrong to impart those ideas and opinions of your belief, especially when it goes against the beliefs of those who make up these new words and genders? And that leads me nicely into this report about a schoolboy who was reprimanded by his teacher for expressing his belief that there are only two genders. So here we are again, yet again, on the Evening Standard website, website of the year apparently. And the headline for this article is Teenager Thrown Out of Class for Saying There Are Only Two Genders. And this was posted one day ago, that's the 20th of June 2019. Now I'm not gonna play this video just yet, I'm gonna play it at the end of this article uh, where I've managed to find an unedited copy which actually shows the teacher's face. In this example, the teacher's face is blurred out. So it goes on to say, a teenager has claimed he was thrown out of class by his teacher after insisting there are only two genders. The unidentified schoolboy secretly filmed the moment he was reprimanded by a teacher at a school in Aberdeenshire who said the view was not in line with school policy. The three minute clip on Friday uploaded to Reddit where it has since been deleted and YouTube where it had been viewed 87,000 times. A leading school teachers union said it appears the argument had been taken out of context and the boy intended to cause an issue. I mean, of course, you know, if your opinion doesn't comply with the opinion of the school. So of course you're trying to cause an issue. You're not allowed to have your own opinion anymore. You either follow the crowd or you're a right wing extremist. The video begins with the teacher explaining to the boy that there is more than one gender, an opinion acceptable to the school. He goes on to say, unlike yours, where you say there is no such thing other than male or female, that's not inclusive. Well, it's not inclusive to reprimand somebody because of their genuine held belief. It's different if somebody is saying something to purposely get a rise out of someone, but if you have a genuine personal belief that there are only two genders, then who is to say otherwise? He also says to the teenager, you're entitled to your opinion. To which the boy responds, if I am, then why did you kick me out of class? It's not very inclusive. Now, when you watch the video, you'll see that even though the teacher says you're entitled to your opinion, he still tries to shut him down and tell him how bad his opinion is and that he's not allowed to share his opinion. So it says here, the teacher replies, no, I'm sorry. What you were saying is not very inclusive and this is an inclusive school. Arguing his point, the student later says, I think it's silly to have other than two genders and that it's unscientific. He continues, I'm simply saying that there are two genders, male and female. Anything else is a personal identification. And I agree. The teacher later asks, could you please keep that opinion to your own house, not in this school? So there you go. Teacher says you're entitled to your opinion, but you're only entitled to your opinion if you keep it to yourself. The clip ends with the two saying that the other has wasted their time. Seamus Searson, General Secretary of the Scottish Secondary Teachers Association, told the standard that while the boy does not well, sorry, that while he does not know specific details about the incident, it appears the boy had an intent of causing an issue. Well, of course he had an intent of causing an issue just because he's got his own beliefs and opinions. This is ridiculous how, you know, they can't just admit, they can't just say, look, everybody's got differing opinions and we have to open ourselves in a society, in a progressive society, we have to open ourselves, um, you know, to all opinions and ideas. We can't all have the same opinions and ideas. This 
country, this world would fall apart if we had the same ideas and opinions. So instead, they blame the person who has a differing opinion from themselves. A teacher wouldn't remove a child from class unless they were being disrupt disruptive, he said. And that's a load of cods wallop as well. Um, I think that I think that's initially what happened. The boy has been removed as the teacher has tried to restore order. It's escalated, and that's the point at which the video starts. But that's your opinion. That's clearly your opinion on what happened because you start the sentence with "I think." You know, where's your fact? Where are your facts? You haven't got any. So how can you say? that a teacher wouldn't remove a child from class unless they were being disruptive and he had an intent of causing an issue when you only have your belief as to what happened. Mm. I've never heard of calling, uh, I've never heard of a child being removed because they've got a different view to the school's policy. Well, again, that is a load of crap, okay? There are lots of children out there that don't agree with, for example, schools, they're not supposed to have nail varnish in schools. They're not supposed to wear makeup in schools. Some kids will go in wearing nail varnish and makeup or earrings, for example. And the school will, that's a difference of opinion. That's a difference of opinion in school policy. The children think they should be able to wear what, you know, earrings, jewellery, whatever it might be. And the school doesn't. And kids are removed from class because they are not in line with school policy. In a statement, a spokesman for the Aberdeenshire Council said, as part of our public sector equality duty, we aim to eliminate discrimination, harassment and victimisation, advance equality of opportunity between those who have protected characteristics and those who don't, and foster good relations between those who have protected characteristics and those who don't. What they're missing here is the, uh, the sentence after that that says, by removing anybody that has a differing opinion to ours from the classroom so they cannot spread their hate disease and lies. <laughs> it is important to understand the context of any video clip taken without a person's consent. Why? Why is it important to understand the context of a video clip taken without a person's consent? When somebody knows they're on video, generally they're going to behave slightly differently. When you catch somebody on video that doesn't know they're on video, their true colours are shown. Do you know what I mean? They show their true self. That's why they're saying, that's why they're trying to make people reading this article think that, you know, it's out of context because the person in the video doesn't know the video has been taken. That's a crock of shit. In our schools, fostering good relations among different groups can be a real challenge, but our aim is to support a fair, inclusive environment for all. I completely dislike teachers and head teachers as much as I dislike bent coppers and I think that they are constantly constantly trying to overstep their boundaries shall we say their duty is to worry about what you know the kids education that's it is to worry about the kids' education. They are there to educate children, okay? I think that the fact that schools, without asking parents or anything like that, I think the fact that schools are doing things like now including, you know, books, for example, on lesbian parents or, or, or transsexuals and things like that, without asking first, I think isn't the right way to do things. Again, I've got nothing against people that want to live their life how they want to live it. And, you know, to have books, you know, about those subjects is great. We need literature. We need things like that out there. But it should be the choice of people to then go and seek out those books. Let them know they're there, by all means. But to force stuff on people, it's like the forced censorship we're seeing online. And it's wrong. Anyway, I'm going to get into the clip. I'm going to show you that now, uh, and you can make up your own minds on what you think happened, whether or not this is out of context, or you know whether you think the child was right or the teacher was right. Enjoy. Yeah. 
You're entitled to your opinion. If but I am, then why would you kick me out of class? It's not very inclusive of Can opinion. Can I finish my sentence, please? It's not very inclusive. No, I'm sorry, what you were saying was not very inclusive. And this is an inclusive school. Yeah, what, how is what I was saying? Because I was saying that what's wrong with the website is that there are more than one gender in well, this country. That's Bible. your opinion. That is my opinion, and that is an opinion which is acceptable in the school. I'm afraid yours, which you're saying that there's no such thing as anyone other than male or female, is not inclusive. Scientifically, there are just two genders, depending on what I get, I get gender that. But you're, you are choosing to make an issue of this, because I said, are you really going to do it? That was your opportunity to, 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 to keep quiet. You made the issue with it on the website. You said, oh, this website doesn't have more than two Murray, genders. you were clearly given an opportunity not to pursue it. You chose to do so. Yeah, because I think it's You silly. chose to do so. Yes, that's the key question. You chose to do so. I think it's silly to have anything other than two genders. So. That, okay. Could anything you please, else is Could a you please opinion. keep that opinion to your own house? Thank you. Not in the so school. you get to put your opinion out in class and my no, opinion I, has I to, am not my putting opinion my, has to stay I am inside not my house. putting my opinion I am not putting my opinion out I am stating what is national school authority policy okay well it's not scientific whatsoever not every policy is scientific Brian. It's, sorry not every not every policy is scientific Murray. And you can't come out here and say that I'm not being inclusive when someone says I something didn't you disagree say with. You, so you I said what you were saying you, was not being inclusive. You kicked me out of class. If, if, if you want to have a discussion about it, we could have done it, had a discussion. You don't have to kick me out of class I'm and sorry, waste 30 minutes I'm, of my time. Or I could have been down revising, doing something else. Instead, I state something I believe in. You kick me out of class for 30 minutes and okay. I'm waiting on the Take court. this somewhere else, Murray. You can make an official complaint. I'm Please not going to make an official complaint. Why not? I just think it's... I know what you think and I know what... The authority thinks. I know what the authority's point of view. Well, it's very thinks. clear, very clear that we make no discrimination on the grounds of various... I wasn't making discrimination. I'm simply saying there are two genders, male and female. Yeah. Anything I'm, else is a personal identification. I'm sorry, but you chose to make an issue of making a point which is contrary to policy. You right? made the issue when you complained about the website, sir. Yes, and I made it in a way... And I responded and to I that made, by saying, but there are only two genders. I, I never made the issue. that... I am not going here. You can choose, but you're making bad choices. I'm making bad choices, okay. Yeah, well, so. can I take my bag and go to the research area and start revising nope. it? You can stay here. Okay, I'll stay here. Thanks for wasting my time. Murray, I am not allowed to tell you how much of my time you have wasted. Okay. So. Good night, all.